What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and today we're going to go over area charts in Metabase. So first thing, let's ask Metabase a question so we can say new question. And let's go ahead and look at the orders table. For summarize, we're going to say sum of total for pick a column to group by. We'll click on created at and we'll hit visualize. Next, we'll hit visualization so we can change it from a line to an area chart. And just like that, we have a nice area chart. So let's go over some of the settings. I can click on this color to change the color. I can click on the ellipses. We can change the style here. Let's change it to a currency. You have some additional options that you can select down here. Let's go to style and maybe we'll just call this total. So now when I hover, it just says total in the tooltip. If you go to display, we have a goal line, a trend line, and show values on data points. So we can toggle any of these on if we wanted to. For axes, we have show label. We can hide it. We can turn it back on. We can change the name. We can show lines and marks and the scale. And we have the same options for the Y axis. And then you can see down here, scale, we have linear, power, log, and we can show and hide lines and marks. So next, let's see how we can create a stacked area chart. So we'll come over here to the show editor. And then all we need to do is come over here. We'll select a product category, and then we'll visualize. We kind of get this, this hot mess. So what we can do is go into those settings. You can grab any of these and change the orders. You can see when you hover, it will actually highlight on the chart. But what we wanna do is go to display and then we can change it to stack. And now we have a nice stacked area chart that looks a lot better. So hopefully this lesson was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.